a very warm welcome to our channel Capit Solutions. Me Kamaljit Korsoni once again is here with you to address your CIA based questions, queries and of course to support you with a better preparation for CIA exam. Today I am not going to uh, take some questions and tell you how to practice it. So this is something which we are doing in a separate series and we will continue to do that. Today I am here to discuss how to take certain topic and prepare for the exam. CIE part 1 has 7 topics. However, the focus in examination is quite a lot on first two topics which includes independence and objectivity. Why the examination structure is like that? That entirely depends because is as an auditor as an internal auditor we should definitely understand what is the real importance of being objective as well as independent so two things i'm gonna pick up today for this quick session and tell you how to read that how to remember that and how to use that in your examination so let's first pick up the definition of internal audit what is definition of internal audit? Each time we as a student try to memorize the definition, we get stuck. Many a time we forget the half of the part. And trust me, in CI examination, a lot of your questions can go wrong or right. Basis, do you remember the definition precisely or you don't? So let me try and help you remembering the definition of internal audit. Just let's start with four points. One, two, three, four. Number one, internal audit is an independent, objective, assurance, and consulting. So all you have to remember is four points. Independent, objective, assurance, and consulting. That's it. Now let's discuss each of these terms one by one. Independence. An internal auditor has to be independent both physically as well as mentally so that they can write the report without any biasness, without any fear. They should feel free to write their comment. So internal audit is an independent activity this independence also says that they are free to reach out to board each time they have observations to discuss and that is where our dual reporting comes into picture we will talk about dual reporting in my other videos but for today let's focus on the word independent the second word which we discussed was objective what is objectivity? Objectivity is unbiased approach, fact based approach or evidence based approach. Each time we get objective, we do not use our assumptions or imagination to talk about something. We rather focus on facts, evidences. So we as an internal auditor are not supposed to give our opinions and assumptions. What are we here for? We are here for finding the evidence and present it. So unbiased fact based approach is called objectivity. This is second term called objective. The third term assurance. What is assurance? In a simpler word assurance is giving the confidence to the stakeholder that they can rely on these reports they can rely on the financial statements and that assurance gives lot of comfort to the stakeholders so assurance is giving comfort to the stakeholder so they, they can become more confident when they look at your reports assurance is a tri-party agreement so for internal auditor, what all three parties are involved, the management, the user and internal auditor. So assurance is a 
tri-party agreement. This is third word. And the fourth was consulting. Most of us as a student go wrong with consulting. So guys, consulting does not mean doing it on your own. What is consulting? Consulting means supporting the management, stating this is how it should be done. There is lot of difference between doing it and telling how to do it. So we as an internal auditor never do it. What we do? We do consulting. We tell them how to do it. And that is very much part of internal auditor's profile. We evaluate and we support. The crux of internal audit is to add value with evaluation, which is known as assurance, and with consulting, we add a lot of value. We tell management, this is not that good. This kind of control should be strengthened further. And this is how consulting comes into picture. So with this four word, a complex looking definition is done. Now you don't need to go through those four or five pages trying to remember the definition and still going wrong about it. All we have to do is speak up with me. What is internal audit? Internal audit is an independent, objective, assurance and consulting activity. It as simple as this is. So, guys, audit is a bit of dry subject, but if we try and memorize it in a very interesting way, it could be really interesting. And also, I'm very sure you will never go wrong ever in your examination or in your practical life. So, this was about a small brief video today to tell you how to memorize a definition of internal audit. I'll keep coming to you guys with lot of such small, small tips and tricks which will help you cracking this exam very much in the first time. Till then, you have to promise to subscribe to my channel Cabbage and please hit the like button if you like this video. Also, do not forget to give us your comments so that next time when I record a video, I can take care of your feedback. Thank you so much. Let's meet once again. Take care. Bye-bye.